Welcome all. Today in this session, I'm going to tell you that why every class should override the equivalent hash code methods. Okay. So for uh, this uh, thing, uh, first of all, if you have not seen my watch uh, video on what is object class in Java, you can refer the video and the link of the video I've put in the description of this video. Just watch that video. And after that, uh, after that, you will learn what is the by default behavior of these method equivalent hash code in the object class and why we should override it that we will learn in our this video. So let me show you. This is my, you can say, Eclipse and my previous uh, video. I've created the student class here with three properties here. And uh, in my Pradeep class, I created the object S1, uh, S1 object and with the values S1, role number five, S1 is Pradeep, S1 lets make automation easy uh, school name. So actually I created two objects and in these two objects, the properties, the value of properties are same. And if I run it, you will see what is the output you will see on the console. So by default, you can say you are getting the output false here. If I'm putting the same value of all the three properties, I'm getting the false. If I'm going to put the actual the, the values different, in that case also, I will get the answer false. So what happens that in real world, we know that in the real world, in the real world, we know that whenever we try to compare two objects or two men. So for example, you can take the example of, suppose there are two students in the class. So uh, physically, we know that two uh, students are totally different. They are two different objects. But you can say if they're Suppose take the example, if you are talking about two students and if their role number is same, okay, if their name is same, uh, their class is same, if their every property, the value of every property is same that, then the in the real world, they are treated as, they are treated as equal. We usually say that, okay, we usually said, okay, his role number is five, your role number is five, his name is Pradeep, your name is Pradeep, your school is Let's Make Automation, his school is also Let's Make. So whenever we see that, whenever all the properties of two objects are equal we say that these two objects are equal we treat it as a equal so by default actually this is not the behavior of the equal method which is defined in the you can say object that's why it is not comparing the values of the object this is comparing the addresses the location of s1 object and the location of s2 object in the memory and we know that in the in the memory the location of s1 s1 s2 totally that is totally different Okay, now if you want to make it, if you want to treat it equal, in that case, what you have to do, you have to override the equivalent hash code method. And then, the, then you can say it will try to consider the values of the values of the object while comparing their object. So for that purpose, just do, just make a right click here in your class. Okay, in the student class, just make a right click and say source and you will get options generate hash code and equal method when you click on that you will get this window so in this window by default you have to select all these values and then you have to say generate so this option of generate so when you generate it you will see when i click on it you will see that it created two functions it actually created or overrided two function in my student class let me show you here also let me share this one okay let me do one thing let me expand it here and now let me drag it here so can you can see it. So when I, what happens that uh, with the help of Eclipse, I have overridden the equal and hash code method for the string class. By default, uh, in, the, uh, in the student class, by default in the student, uh, student class object method, the object method was coming from the parent that is the uh, object class. But here I have overridden it. It means whenever I'm going to call this time, I'm going to call this code this equal method will not be called from the parent object class. It will be called from the student class. So in the student class, in this method, actually I've written, I've written it especially, I've overwrite the default coding of the object class and just check it here that when both the value, when all the values of both the object, like the value of S1 and the values of S1, the each and every value, each and every value of every property, if it is same, then only they should be considered as a you can say equal. So in the current scenario, let me show you if I'm putting here uh, five Pradeep, let me go show my automation, five Pradeep, let's me automation and let me run it and you will get the answer will be, you will be surprised. The answer is true. Why it is true? Because in my student class, if I'm trying to compare the object of student class and in the object in the in my string uh, in my student class, I override the equal method. Whenever you are, uh, you can say whenever you are overriding the equal method, it is mandatory that you should override the 
hash code method so it is a relation that whenever you are overriding a equal method you should write uh, override the hash code method because in the comparison in the comparison of you can say two objects equal method in a behind the scene also use the hash code which i have also shown you what that what is hash code i have shown you in my previous video of of object class and as i told you i have uh, i have just put the link of that video in the description of this video so make sure that you watch that video completely then you understand this video also easily okay so now override it you can see it is giving the answer true if i will change the value if i will change the Uh, value of any one property now for the s1 roll number is different and s2 different the rest of the two properties are same that is okay but when value is different in my equal method actually you can see with the help of this code i'm comparing that if every property like you can say student roll number is equal to the student roll number of other object school name is equal to the school name of other object is to every property student name equal to equal to the uh, other means other object so in that case it will give the answer true otherwise false so let me run it and in this case you will get the answer false so that's why in the real life whenever you there is a need that in your in your a class in your class you want to make sure that whenever you try to compare two objects and you want to treat you want to treat them equal if their all properties are same then you should override the equal and hash code method if i'm going let me show you if i'm going to again let me first of all do one thing let me again make it 5 and let me run it and you will say you are getting the answer true here let me run it Okay, now let me do one thing. Now let me go to the my this class and let me remove this method which I have overridden. So I if I remove this method again now, uh, I have removed the method from the student class. So uh, uh, the method equal it is it will uh, come from the parent class that is object class and in this case answer will be false. So it means whenever you want to. whenever you want to compare two object and you want to treat them as equal on the basis of equality of their properties then you should override the equal and hash code method in the related class like student okay so i hope you understand what is the use of uh, equal and hash code method in the previous video and why you should override it in the your class <clears throat> so that you can treat two objects equal on the basis of their property if you like this video Okay, if you like this video, you can uh, click on the like button also. Now the second thing is that now the second thing is that if you want to get the understanding on other automation related tools like JMeter, Selenium, TestNG, so anything you want to get it, you can refer to my channel. In my channel, you will get all the videos related to these topics. Other than that, you can get the assignment videos also, which will make your confidence in your learning. Now. if you have uh, you can say if you have not subscribe my channel till now you can subscribe it thank you